if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number one of season number two here at West Ham. We're at the beginning of a brand new year and uh, after yesterday's season roundup and season finale, part two of which, uh, where we were able to pick up a, a positive result against Stoke, we have of course qualified for the Champions League in this second season. Uh, I'm not going to be playing the friendlies, I've decided not to bother playing the friendlies uh, this time around because uh, we don't really... Uh, we're not really fussed about friendlies now. I think I've gotten to the point in uh, FIFA 16 where the novelty of having a pre-season friendly tournament, while still is appreciati appreciated, and the finances of which are very much appreciated, I'm not really too fussed about playing them at present. So we'll, we'll breeze through that. I just wanted to quickly show you what the expectations are for this second season and uh, um, effectively what sorts of uh, people I'm going to be looking at in this transfer window. Uh, we'll go through the transfer window a little bit as well, obviously try and get some deals done if we can in today's uh, first episode of the second season. But they were very pleased with the overall results last year. The expectation, we actually upped the expectation, didn't we, to uh, qualify for the Europa League from a mid-table finish because we wanted to get some extra money out of the board and it worked. And we were able to finish fourth and qualify for the qualification stage of the Champions League. Uh, in the domestic cup, they weren't necessarily uh, too happy with how we did in the FA Cup and the Capital One Cup. So this year, they want us to reach the round of 16 stage again. We have a budget of 28 million pounds with a wage budget of 140,000. That's a decent sized budget, to be fair, considering we finished fourth and the squad is already decent. 28 million pounds is enough, I think. The league objective is to qualify for the Champions League again, which will be a test. Considering we uh, we started last season, the first season, on world class, got some great results, then moved up to legendary, and were able to uh, kind of hold station around about fourth. But uh, had we been on legendary for the full season, I feel we may have finished sixth or seventh. So it'll be interesting to see now with a full season on legendary, but hopefully with some new, better players, whether we can still qualify for the Champions League. They want us to reach the quarterfinals of the Champions League as well, which is going to be difficult. It depends on our. Uh, group stage draw of course but that we, they want us to get out the group and pass the second knockout phase into the uh, Champions League quarterfinals that should be quite tough actually but uh, we've had one new signing already as you can see Alisson has joined us the Brazilian goalkeeper he's the only transfer of the window to this point as I can show you here top deals and latest deals is blank so Alisson is in I will quickly show you uh, what his stats look like I put him straight into the first team uh, his goalkeeping stats are, there you go, 75 diving, 76 handling, 78 positioning and 86 reflexes. So he is better than Adrian and we will be moving Adrian on. I've actually got a few people on the transfer list. I've gone out and bought another uh, member of the youth staff, managed to get another uh, better scout. Actually used last season's budget for that. Yeah, the prize money we got for the Premier League. So we have a new scout. We have two uh, new scouts and all three are five star, five star or five star, four star, which is good. A few players are running out of contract, uh, most of which I'm not too worried about. Adrian, we're trying to sell. Uh, Zarate, I'm going to offer a new contract probably, but we'll, we'll just hold off on that just yet in case he wants a, a massive, actually, just out of curiosity. What does he want? Does he want a massive upgrade? He only wants 10k. Okay, well, we can contemplate that a little bit later on. We have put some players on the transfer list, though. I mentioned that uh, we've got plenty of youth players in the uh, academy right now, so I'm going to let all of the youth players we currently have go and bring through the youth players that we uh, we have that have been scouted that have higher potentials. So uh, as you can see, a lot of youngsters here have been transfer listed. Also, Matt Jarvis is on the transfer list. We mentioned that yesterday. He's actually permanently gone to Norwich now in real life, so we will try and move him out. And we're also looking to sell uh, Aaron Cresswell, a left back, to bring in uh, a new first team left back ahead of rotation, Grimaldo. And Adrian, we're letting go as well because we don't need him because we've got Alisson. And uh, Spiegel is still here. He's going to be loaned out, but we do have our scout future star goalkeeper available uh, to us. I'm gonna, I'm thinking about holding off until he turns 17. Again, gonna take into consideration what you guys recommend with uh, yesterday's episode, which is went live about an hour and a half ago as I record this. So I'm gonna go through the comment section of that video. I'll go through the comment section of this video and we'll decide what to do with the youngsters. I think it's best to let them get to 17 first before calling them up, but we'll have to wait and see because Madrazo, how tall is he? He's only five foot four. 
out on the right hand side there's a goalkeeper a couple of goalkeepers as well actually uh, Schultz is five foot five uh, he's five foot four although these guys are 15 as you can see five foot five there was another goalkeeper as well I think it was the last guy yes five foot nine but he too might grow a little bit when he gets to 17 I've never really done like a youth academy style career mode so uh, you guys will have to keep me informed of what goes on there but we've got some uh, transfer targets laid out for you already and I'll show you them now. We've got Jetro Willems. He's a, just a go-to great left back. So might try and pick him up. I think Kazawa is going to be my favourite potential new left back signing. Also having a look at Douglas Santos from uh, Atletico Mineiro and Jefferson from Sporting Lisbon. Uh, Danilo at centre mid because obviously Alex Song's uh, loan spell has expired. So he's gone back to Barcelona. So we do need another uh, central midfielder. We've got Noble, Obiang and Reese Oxford. I would like another first team and then to have the Youth Academy players uh, as backup as well. So Danilo we had on loan at Valencia from Braga in the one season we did at Valencia. He was phenomenal. Definitely would be keen on bringing him in. Bazua is the obvious young player to go with other than Yuri Tielemans. I'm not going to sign Tielemans. I'm not going to sign Mbolo. Um, I was cautious about putting Bazur on the uh, the list because he's just an obvious player and I don't necessarily want to sign the obvious players. I like to have at least a little bit of difference in my career most to everyone else. Uh, Granite Xhaka we're also looking at. We've taken a little bit of, uh, of a hint from this previous January transfer window in real life as well. As you can see, we've got Gianni, uh, uh, I'll start that again, Gianelli Imbula, who uh, has recently gone from Porto to Stoke. Uh, in real life for 18 and a half million gonna get a scout report on him looking at uh, Ben Yedder potentially at striker still don't know what to do with Enna Valencia and Zarate Zarate is probably going to stay because he was our top goal scorer last year Enna Valencia is uh, a favorite but from the West Ham fans in real life so I don't know whether to sell him or not uh, Gabriel is uh, another option at striker looking at Antonio Sanabria as well apparently he can grow quite well but he's not the fastest although it does say physical in his uh, base physical uh, kind of the hints, supposedly. Uh, sprint speed and acceleration are there. So I'm waiting for a scout report on him. Also looking at Umar Nias as well, who Everton signed in this transfer window for, I believe it was 13 million pounds. I might be mistaken. Feel free to correct me if I am wrong. But we're going to advance through a little bit now. Actually, I will do a little bit of training. Uh, we've got players coming back from loan now. That's weird. Okay, they're all coming back from loan now. Well, they're going to go straight onto the transfer market then because they're all youngsters that I want to sell. Uh, I will do a little bit of training. I may even skip out the training. We've had a transfer offer immediately for Adrian. He's homesick and wants to leave anyway. But I would like more than uh, 4.2 if you don't mind, uh, Leon. Will you give me 7 for Adrian? We'll try it. We'll count it and we'll see what they say. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Uh, Sunderland can give me a decent whack as well. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Like I say, I normally play friendlies and I'm not doing so this time around. So... Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Adrian then sends me an email saying he want, definitely wants to leave. Well, we're trying to sell you, sir, so don't worry. But yeah, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I'll probably cut from here to various different highlights of uh, transfer stuff going down. So uh, I'll see you in a second. We've had another transfer offer for Adrian. Five and a half million pounds from West Brom. This one at least is above his general starting value. But again, I'll count to seven and uh, see if West Brom want to uh, to pay that for Adrian another one actually potential transfer outgoing that I haven't actually mentioned hadn't occurred to me until now is potentially uh, James Collins at centre back we have Reed uh, Winston Reed and Angelo Bonner do I sell James Tompkins and bring in another potentially fantastic world class centre back let me know what you think of that I'll add him on the transfer list just to see if we can get any interest in him because he's 27, so uh, we are going to need numbers at, at uh, you know centre back and centre mid and out wide, etc. I do like to have two players for each position, if possible, especially considering hopefully we're going to go on a decent European Cup run. But let me know; I might have to add some centre backs to uh, we'll have to add some centre backs to the uh, to the watch list, etc. And uh, we'll see if we can. Uh, potentially bring in a new centre back as well. So let me know, continue to let me know all your transfer suggestions in the comment section down below. Get a 2 0 win over Sporting Kansas City, which is great. That's a wonderful start to the friendly tournament, and hopefully that sets the tone for the rest of our pre season. Oh, we've got some transfer offers. All right, well, we'll have a look through these. Sorry, James, you didn't start that one. Transfer offers again for Adrian Everton this time. Everton might have a little bit extra money, actually, so maybe I'll, I'll ask for eight from them. Might be stretching things a little bit, but never mind. Again, not sure how long this video is going to be. I'm probably going to waffle on for the majority of it, and it'll end up being 100 million minutes long, but never mind. Uh, another offer for Dar or from Derby. 
for Adrian. They might not have a lot of money actually, so we will just stick with a seven for him. And there was a someone came back with a counter offer. Oh no, Health of Berlin. Oh jeeps, how many offers? Adrian got loads of offers previously, didn't he, when he was not transfer listed, and now he is transfer listed. Everyone's coming in from Sunderland have agreed the seven million pounds and we'll go uh, and we'll go ahead with contract talks and the board have said um what? We've decided to act quickly to dispel this ongoing surrounding future of, by choosing to accept an offer for him. Uh, I've already accepted offers. If you do me out of money here, Mr. Board of Directors, then I will be pissed. Uh, six and a half for Adrian Yeovall, then fine, I'll accept that. Although I've no idea which offer they're gonna, they've accepted. This could be weird now. We've had a transfer offer again for Adrian. Who's this one from? Uh, oh, it won't let me... He won't let me do anything with that. Fair enough, never mind, let's crack on. Josh Pask has gone to Newport County for £60,000 and Adrian has now left us for £7 million to Sunderland. So uh, we've had £6 million added to our budget and his wages, so that will add or move our transfer budget now up to £34 million. Uh, OCD, I'm going to make it that. 75, 25, £32.5 million and a wage budget of £200,000. So uh, things look good right now with regards to the finances of the club. We just need to make sure that we bring in the right players to fill in the roles that we're looking for. I am potentially going to wait until I've had full scout reports back on people before I start throwing bids in. But uh, we've had a scout report. Uh, but, oh, 84 to 94. Uh, that's an instant sign. Uh, 78 to 94. We'll wait a little bit more. Actually, no, fuck it. Why not? get him in and 60 to 84 we will reject because we've got so many youth players right now but this is this is how I'm starting the training off right here as you can see Archibald Henville is a young goalkeeper that probably going to be my backup eventually to uh, Allison. so we're uh, going to continue to train him and hopefully he improves sooner rather than later and then we can bring him straight into the uh, first team squad rather than the first team and uh, also training Oxford and Sané and Riedabald currently but that will obviously change throughout the season Final friendlies ended in a 2-1 win over Atlas, so uh, we're going to go through to the knockout stages of uh, the pre-season tournament. I just wanted to quickly show you, actually, whilst we're here, uh, if I can quickly scroll through, what happened in Euro 2016, because uh, obviously we're in the pre-season season, season uh, two, and uh, France won on penalties against Germany in, uh, in Euro 2016, so the hosts won. Just wanted to uh, let you know that. Uh, I missed letting you know who won the World Cup in the My Player series and I will uh, let you know in tomorrow's My Player episode who won the World Cup in that series as well for 2018. But uh, as you can see England got to the quarterfinals but knocked out by Belgium unfortunately. Never mind, let's hope for better luck for England in real life in that competition. Uh, two interests or two emails, oh it's just one money event. An extra 1.4 million. Soda Berahino, oh and want some more first team football. Sorry bro. Transfer offer for Elliot Lee, I'm just going to accept that because he's not very often that you get multiple offers for your young players. An offer for Enna Valencia from Real Betis. I don't know what to do with Enna Valencia. I think I might counter, like, oh no, do we really want to counter 15? Would they accept that? I'll counter 12. I may sell Enna Valencia, but I know he's a he's a bit of a favourite with the West Ham fans, so I, I'm torn. I don't know whether to sell him for just because it's a FIFA series and we don't maybe want to be overly realistic. And, uh, and you know, worry about, oh, is he a fan favourite, is he not? If I want to get rid of a player, I'm probably going to get rid of a player. Then it's a case of having enough money available to replace him with a top quality striker that would then take the first team spot away from Mauro Zarate. Uh, 63 to 87. Uh, six foot three as a goalkeeper, though. No, we've got other goalkeepers. We've got other goalkeepers. 63 to 87, no. 53 to 73, definitely no. Definitely no. Definitely no. You're going to have to do better than that, my man. What has the other guy got for us? 65 to 87, potentially, but he's starting at 39 to 53, no. 68 to 90, maybe. No. 71 to 94, that's a definite maybe. 82 to 94, that's a definite yes. And 62 to 86, I'm going to say no to that one. Okay, well, there's the youth scouts continuing on. Let's hopefully get some scout reports back on the players that we want to potentially sign for the first team proper. And then maybe we can actually get some transfer action properly going with incomings rather than just outgoings. As we get a 3-1 win over Porto. Betis have not come anywhere close to the 12 million I asked for for Enna Valencia. So I'm just going to ask for 10. And they'll probably reject that but if I can get close if I can get nine or upwards I'll probably let him go I'll probably let him go Lewis Page went out on loan to Cambridge United for us in the first season I've had another offer 
Okay, well maybe Deadpool can give us 10. This is interesting because Enna Valencia isn't transfer listed, but clearly he's uh, he's creating some interest. So we may be looking for a brand new striker at the club, as well as a centre mid, potentially a centre back and a left back. It's time for the final of the uh, Champions Trophy. We're against Sporting Lisbon or Sporting Portugal, as I know their fans prefer to be referred to, as you can see from the badge as well. And we win on penalties, 4-3. Fantastic. Pedro Obian gets our goal. Uh, Everton, or Everton? I don't know how to pronounce that, to be honest. I apologise. Uh, scored their goal in the 68th minute, but we win. So that will go... Uh, that will add an extra little boost to our transfer budget. So Lewis Page is gone. Tournament where we got the full the full whack from that tournament that was an extra two we got 2.1 for winning the semi-final as well so we've got almost 40 million pounds to spend here this is fantastic i just want to point out to you as well a couple of the biggest transfers that have gone through so far christian erickson to wolfsburg for 38 million pounds laporte from athletic bilbao to chelsea for 30 million pounds and tiago alcantara from Bayern munich to manchester united for 29 and a half million pounds uh, there's also been uh, Djordjevic from Lazio to Newcastle for 15 as you can see there and and Edinson Cavani has gone to Borussia Dortmund from PSG for about £26 million as well so there's been a lot of big deals so far in this window hopefully we'll be able to add to that ourselves soon as well Depor have come back with 6.5 Betty 7.5 again Go on then, we'll sell Enna Valencia and we will look for a number one world-class striker in this window, but you are not, by any chance, getting Winston Reid, Fiorentina. I do apologise. Uh, Depor have offered me six and a half and actually it won't let me do anything with that offer now anyway, so uh, we will have to start adding some real, truly world-class strikers to this list up top, unless, unless we go for someone like uh, Ben Yedder or Gabriel because he's young. Uh, or Sanabria because he's young or Nias because he's quick <laughs> it's up to you guys I will take a lot of feedback in the comments section before uh, throwing myself wholeheartedly into any definite transfers I think for posi the position like left back etc I'll probably make the decision myself uh, because I'll probably uh, just for you know there's positions that aren't necessarily the obvious ones that uh, would need to be improved or not you know I'm, what am I trying to say here my brain is all over the place but positions aren't necessarily that important. The positions that you don't really care about. I know a lot of people just in the comment section always uh, really care. It's just goal scorers and attacking midfielders and wingers. That's all people care about. When it comes to a left back or a goalkeeper or a centre back, people aren't too fussed. So I'll make the uh, the left back decision myself. Uh, centre mid decision, I'll definitely take some feedback on. Uh, centre back decision with regards to James Tompkins, I'll definitely take some feedback on. And striking decision I will most definitely take some feedback on but we've had uh, brief or partial scout reports come back now Kazawa looks quite expensive but also very good Douglas Santos looks like he could be a cheaper option but are we really looking for a cheaper option and Jefferson looks decent as well actually and only eight million pounds so I'm actually going to approach Jefferson here approach for Jefferson and we'll offer we'll offer just the eight and see if they'll accept that they haven't accepted that. They want 14 and a half. Now, I'm not necessarily willing to go to 14 and a half. So, we'll offer them 10. I could offer them a, le uh, um, a youth player as well. So, I know we have a, youth, a few youth players we want to get rid of. Stephen Hendry, I could perhaps offer them in uh, in addition to the 10 million pounds. We'll see what they say to that. We've also got plenty of scout, full scout reports back now. And Enna Valencia has now gone to Real Batiste for 7.5 million pounds. So, our transfer budget now stands at 45 million pounds so there's a lot to do in this window and this video is probably quite long already so we'll probably bring it to a close sooner rather than later i just want to have a full look at all of these scout reports before making a decision on anyone else and then uh well actually let's do that together and then maybe we'll end the episode there and i'll take some more feedback into account from you guys with regards the rest of the window so jetro williams obviously we've offered for jefferson um douglas santos Sly tackle looks great. Stand tackle, unfortunately, doesn't look as strong as it could be. But we could always train that, and he is young. But we're looking for a first team left back for, uh, you know, a, to be playing a lot of football. Kazawa would be expensive, but maybe he'd be worth it. Belems would also be expensive, maybe he'd be worth it. When it comes to central midfield position, I really like the look of uh, Gianelli and Bula. Like, very much so. Physicals are fantastic, and he looks like a really, really good all round player, similar to Pedro Obiang. 
and uh, he could be a fantastic acquisition. Only valued at £9 million at 23 years of age and 79 rated. He could be absolutely superb. Granite Chaka looks like he's going to be good but expensive and Bazour is Bazour. He will grow very well. 78 rated at 19. And Danilo, we already know all about Danilo. We know that he's really, really good. But Imbula really, uh, really piques my interest, to be honest. Stoke looked like they've... Well, if, FIFA stats are anything to go by. I can't say as I've seen him play too much in real life. Stoke look like they've got themselves a really good player. When it comes to the strikers, Sanabria looks very good. 76 rated at 20 years of age. Isn't world class, but he could grow phenomenally well. That would mean that we would continue to start Zarate as number one. Or we could go for Gabriel, perhaps. He looks good as well. Sanabria looks... I'm actually, I didn't know anything about Snabry. I didn't even know he existed, but he looks very, very good. Ben Yedder is obviously already a decent talent, but are we going to perhaps look for someone that's 80-plus rated, maybe, with the amount of money we've got to spend? Uh, and Umar Nias looks decent enough as well, 77 rated at 26 years of age, a good acceleration, he's the strongest of the three I think, yes, Sanabria uh, with 75 strength, his physicals look really good actually, uh, good ball control and dribbling as well which could be crucial for a striker and uh, 81 finishing is actually the best of all of them, no Ben Yedda has 83, he's smaller though, he's only 5 foot 9, 5 foot 7, really really small Ben Yedda, whether he'd be cut out for the Premier League I'm not sure, so we'll continue to take feedback on all of your suggestions in the uh, in the comment section down below uh, hopefully you're enjoying this second season so far we've sold on a few players and raised a lot of money to this point and now in the upcoming episode or two it's going to be time to find out a who we face in the champions league because, uh, has that been drawn yet? I don't know whether it's been drawn yet. It has. We have Rosenborg. We have Rosenborg. I think that's what our, who RBK are. I think that's Rosenborg. Please do correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. I believe that's Rosenborg's badge in the uh, Champions League qualification stage. And uh, that means that the month of August is going to be very, very busy. But hopefully we can get through there. And uh, fingers crossed we can uh, progress through to the group stage because the board want us to get to the quarterfinals. But for now, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Apologies if this video is super long, but there's plenty to get done in a transfer window. Even more now that we have loads of money to spend as well. So drop the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check the previous episodes on the channel of this series and the My Player series to stay up to date with both of the ongoing FIFA career mode series we have here. But for now, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.